Much like the Spanish Inquisition, a sleeper car is one that nobody expects. It's ruthlessly fast, powerful, and efficient, with all the mechanical capabilities of a hardcore sports car, and none of the persona. Sleepers occupy the sidelines, hiding their high performance under unremarkable exteriors, content to let the fast-looking cars attract all the police attention. For as long as drivers have scooped up their cars, the sleeper has always been the unassuming badass in the background. Naturally, manufacturers caught on, and every so often, some pretty amazing ones take to the streets straight from the dealership floor. So here are seven modern sleeper cars that you should be afraid to race against. The BMW E60 M5 we could never decide what's more awesome about the BMW E60 M5, its V10 engine, and the fact that BMW offered it not only as a sedan, but a wagon as well. Nevertheless, the E60 M5 was one of the best sleeper cars ever to come out of Germany. One that lapped the famed Nürburgring in just 8 minutes, all while looking like your run-of-the-mill executive sedan. Except for the M wheels, of course. The 5-liter S85 V10 engine cranked out 500 horsepower and 385 pound-feet of torque. It came with an SMG sequential M gearbox and a 6-speed manual as well, and could shoot from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds as a sedan, at 4.8 seconds as a station wagon, while independent media outlets managed to record sprints of 4.1 seconds. The E60 M5 was, back in 2005 when it came out, the fastest four-door production sedan money can buy, thanks to a top speed of 190 miles per hour, unlocked with the optional M drivers pack. However, the E60 M5 was known for rod bearing failure, so there was that. The Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG when it met the public at the 2002 Paris Motor Show, the E55 AMG was the world's fastest production sedan. It was powered by a monster 5.4 liter V8, slapped with a supercharger as the engine was the same as the one inside the SL55 AMG, but this time it was tweaked to produce 469 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. Power reached the wheels through a quick-firing 5-speed automatic gearbox, allowing the E55 to blast from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, all while looking like your wealthy granddad's daily driver. Although the E55 wasn't a sports car, nor even a sports sedan, but it did dust those when needed. Top speed was limited to 155 miles per hour, of course, but that doesn't change the fact that this sleeper could send you to your destination in plushness and style like. To put things in perspective, the same era Audi 5 RS6 came with 450 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque on tap. The Audi RS2 the coolest thing about the RS2 is that it's part Audi and part Porsche. The Quattro all-wheel drive setup made sure that each wheel was fed with some of the 311 horsepower and 308 pound-feet of torque cranked out by a 2.2-liter inline-5 engine. The brakes were straight from Porsche, the suspension too, while the wheels and side mirrors were taken as-is from the 964-911 Turbo. And to top it all off, 0-60 to 60 came in just 4.8 seconds, with a top speed of 160 miles per hour. Or you could just as well take the whole family family on a long summer road trip, with enough room for everyone's luggage, without anyone suspecting what hides under that clean German bodywork. The Pontiac GTO the Pontiac GTO was an Aussie and US love child that turned out to be the perfect sleeper. A rebadged Holden Monaro, the Pontiac GTO was Bob Lutz's first American creation, so to speak, as the GM head honcho insisted that Chevy should offer it in the US. For the GTO, the power numbers were pretty straightforward. Under the hood sat Chevy's small block 5.7 liter LS1 V8, found in some Corvettes and Camaros, without flaunting an overly burly body. The 2004 Pontiac GTO sent 350 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels, exclusively via a Hydromatic 4-speed automatic gearbox. You could also opt for the $695 Trimax 6-speed manual. 0 to 60 took just 5.3 seconds, and in optimum conditions, the quarter mile didn't last more than 13.6 seconds at 105 miles per hour. The Volvo V70R Station wagons haven't been popular in a long time, and even when they were popular, they were never really cool. They were practical, sure, but like I said before, cool is not an adequate description. Most people have probably never heard of the Volvo V70R, with an inline 5 making 296 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. It has some serious power to put down through its all-wheel drive system. It could also hit 60 miles per hour in less than 6 seconds, making it a real performance bargain for the dad who wants a Miata with room for his wife and two kids. The Chevy SS 
This is a video about the best sleeper cars of the last 25 years. But honestly, the Chevy SS might even deserve to be included on a list of the best sleepers of all time. After all, how many cars can claim the honor of having next to no one even know they exist? 95% of people you pass in the SS will think it's a Malibu, if they even notice it at all. And while some car enthusiasts consider that to be a flaw, they're actually wrong. The SS is a wheel-wheel drive muscle sedan that packs a 415 horsepower V8, sourced from the Corvette, a six-speed manual transmission, and a magnetic suspension. It's the kind of car you'll need to look anonymous, because if it looked as awesome as it actually is, you'd probably be getting speeding tickets left and right. The Acura TL All-Wheel Drive We'll be honest, we kinda assumed that the Acura TL all-wheel drive was an 8 second 0 to 60 car. However, when we learned that it had a 3.7 liter V6 that makes 305 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque, with a 0 to 60 time of just 5.3 seconds, we were completely blown away. A good looking car, the TL falls directly into that nice Japan sedan category, meaning that it will probably run forever, but never be too exciting. However, the fact that it's got some stones, and that it it could be had with a six-speed manual, we may have to give it its just due. Let's be honest, you didn't expect it to be that fast either. The Mazda Speed 6 in the mid-size sedan segment, if you don't want to completely lull yourself to sleep every time you get behind the wheel, you buy a Mazda 6. It's more fun to drive than a Honda Sonoda or a Toyota Camry, but at the same time, it's nothing special. After all, it is still a mid-size sedan, and mid-size sedans are built to be practical for sensible people. Though in 2005, Mazda decided to throw practicality and sensibility out the window, opting to let its Mazda Speed team to do its dirty work. The result was an all-wheel drive sports sedan with a 270 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine monster equipped with a six-speed manual transmission. It could hit 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, yet to the untrained eye it's still just a sensible and practical family sedan. The Buick Regal GS When you mention the name Buick, most enthusiasts scoff. That might not be good for Buick sales, but for those trying to avoid attention, it's perfect. The Regal GS, Buick sports sedan, is arguably the least attention-grabbing American performance car on the market. The GS shares some of its looks from the normal Regal, save for a bumper and some wheels. The car looks like any other boring American economy car, but packs a 259 horsepower Turbo 4 under the hood. If you're looking for fun without catching any stairs, the GS fits the bill. The Audi S8 Plus the Audi S8 has been around for a while, but the new Plus version earns a spot among the greatest sleepers ever. With 605 horsepower from a 4-liter twin-turbo V8, hiding under an extremely understated sedan body style, no one will give you a second look as you fly by in the left lane. A few years ago, Audi's signature daytime LEDs would have made the S8 Plus stand out on the freeway, but nowadays almost every car has a set. Option it in silver with some basic wheels and you got yourself the ultimate under-the-radar Autobahn battleship. Ship. The Mercedes-Benz S600 even people who don't know much about cars know about the S-Class. They know it's expensive and luxurious, but that's about it. Its styling is handsome, but generic enough that it slides under the radar with ease. That's even true about the S600 and its surprisingly powerful V12 engine. But the update in 2003 made it even faster. The 5.5-liter twin-turbo V12 made 493 horsepower and 590 glorious pound-feet of torque. The newest model now comes with a 6-liter V12 engine, producing 523 horsepower and 612 pound-feet of torque, which is some serious torque. The Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8 470 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque, an 8-speed automatic transmission, launch control, 295 tires at all four corners, and the fact that it can tow up to 7,200 pounds make the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT one of the most versatile vehicles on the market today. This thing is a big hammer, and although it weighs 5,100 pounds, it does a miraculous job of masking its weight. Combine that with the fact that it only looks slightly different from the standard Jeep Grand Cherokee, and you got a 100% usable vehicle that will pull 0.9 G's on the street, hit 60 miles per hour in under 5 seconds, and put a thorough educational beatdown on just about anything it goes up against. The Cadillac CTS-V Wagon 
This thing is a beast. At first glance, it looks like your standard CTS wagon. However, take a closer look, and you'll notice things like giant six-piston Brimbos sitting on 15-inch rotors, a massive rear differential cooler, and of course, a six-speed manual transmission, making the CTS V wagon a grocery getter of the highest order. It packs a supercharged V8 that produces 556 horsepower and 551 pound-feet of torque. It has a zero to 60 time of just four seconds and a top speed of around 190 miles miles per hour, making it one of the fastest sleepers in this group. The Volvo S60 T5R it's true, Volvo is not generally looked upon as a manufacturer of fast cars. Will built? Yes. But fast? No. However, that all changes when you get behind the wheel of a Volvo S60 T5R. The smooth running turbocharged inline 6 makes 325 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque, helping this blue Swede hit 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds and run the quarter mile in around 13. Hell, the fact that it's quick and a Volvo automatically make it a shoe in for this list. The BMW 760 Li V12 this is the BMW 760Li. It's 17 feet long, weighs 2.5 tons, and has a 0 to 60 time of just 4.5 seconds. It also looks like you should be chauffeured around in it, all while reading the Wall Street Journal. Power comes from a massive twin turbo V12 engine that makes 535 horsepower and 550 pound feet of torque. And while this puppy is also not cheap, with a base price of $140,000, your chauffeur will be smiling from ear to ear as he crushes all matter of import and muscle car. Cars. The Ford Flex. It does 0 to 60 in 6 seconds, comes equipped with all wheel drive, and has a twin turbo V6 pumping out 365 horsepower. It also looks as though it should be hauling surfboards to the beach. This is the Ford Flex EcoBoost all wheel drive, and is probably one of the best sleeper cars of the bunch. With an MSRP of $50,000, it's definitely not cheap, but thoroughly spanking the vast amount of performance sedans in a light to light drag race is priceless. The Honda Accord V6. There's no question that the Honda Accord V6 is the most unassuming ride on this list. It's got plain vanilla looks, a relatively low price tag, and absolutely nothing about it that suggests big speed. However, mask the gas and be prepared to hit 60 miles per hour in just 5.6 seconds and blaze through the quarter mile in just over 14. This is in part due to its robust 24 valve V6 engine that makes 270 horsepower and 252 pound feet of torque. For comparison, a 1970 Hemi Cuda would hit 60 miles per hour in just 6 seconds and run the quarter mile in under 14. Not too shabby for a mid-sized Japanese family sedan. The Chrysler 200S we don't care what you put it in, but a 3.6 liter V6 that makes 280 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque will generally mean serious speed. Stuff it in a basic boring Chrysler 200 and well you got the makings of a car that has the word surprise written all over it. 0 to 60 miles per hour is in the mid 6 seconds and its mid range torque is fantastic, meaning that you'll be surprising people during highway roll-ons every time you hit the gas. The GMC Cyclone if you need a reminder of how awesome the 1990s were, look no further than GMC's decision to build the Cyclone. 280 horsepower isn't a lot for a truck made today, but back in 1991 it was enough that 60 miles per hour arrived in around 5 seconds. You could thank the truck's all-wheel drive system and the 350 pound-feet of torque that the turbocharged V6 made for that kind of acceleration. If someone doesn't know what they're looking at though, all they're gonna see is a small old pickup truck. They'll also have no idea how fast it is until blows them away at a stoplight. Well guys, those are 7 modern sleeper cars you should never race against. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff for Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.